a lot of our medicines can affect sexual function, but uh, depression, which is usually what we talk about when we're talking about treatment and medicines, depression affects almost everyone's sexual function. Okay, so uh, it's always uh, can be a little bit complicated at times to know which is having the bigger effect. Okay, when there's a problem, whatever affects sexual function, whether it's depression, uh, whether it's medication, whether it's uh, illness in yourself or in your partner. Uh, once you have a, an issue there for a while, it's going to take a while to get over it. Even if, say it were purely due to the drug and you stop the drug completely tomorrow, uh, I wouldn't expect you to really resume normal sexual functioning in an everyday way for probably six weeks. Let's talk about the drugs for a minute. Um, uh, the different main thing to remember here is that different drugs have, do different things in terms of the different parts of sexual function. So the older antidepressants, the tricyclic antidepressants, like nortriptyline being the one that we use a lot here, uh, it mostly has uh, some antihistamine properties and it would affect your sexual life really in the same way if you had to take potent antihistamine pills every day. And that is, it, for a male, it's most noticeable it blocks erection, having an erection, okay? For a female, it'll make it more difficult to become lubricated, okay? And those are kind of parallel parts of the uh, arousal or sexual function. Uh, the second group of medicines that have a pretty stereotyped effect are the uh, serotonin reuptake inhibitors like uh, Prozac or Zoloft uh, or other drugs. And they kind of have two sets of effects, uh, really the two other functions. One is they can make it difficult to achieve an orgasm for men or women. And uh, Whereas, uh, and sometimes it just delays it, and sometimes, you know, if it's delayed enough, it didn't happen. Uh, the, the, uh, but it also can affect uh, interest, uh, and it's not clear whether it affects the interest because it affected orgasm, uh, orgasm or enjoyment, but it can do that too. Some people just complain about loss of interest, okay? Uh, SSRIs don't by themselves affect the sexual function, that is, the, the erection or lubrication phase of sexual activity. What I do recommend to everybody is that if you're being treated for depression, uh, treat the depression first. If we don't treat the depression, your sex life isn't going to get better anyway. <laughs> and not everybody gets sexual dysfunction from our medicines. And usually for my patients, they are very happy if I not worry about sex initially, give them an effective treatment for depression, and then in several months time, they might come back to me and say, Dr. DePaulo, could we talk about something? and this will be what we talk about. So thanks very much.